Welcome back to Gundaha Tutorials. Today we will look into a geothermal power plant and oxygen not included. So we want to basically harness all this power slumbering at the bottom of each map in form of magma with a very high degree. And we can transfer this heat into useful energy. So how does it work? We have here these steam turbines which basically need um, steam. And there's a steam with a higher temperature than 125 degrees. So what we have here is we attach uh, the bottom of our tank to the heat source. Then if we close these doors, so let's do that. Um, the heat gets transferred from the bottom here up into this tank, which heats the steam even more. And then it goes through the steam turbines, a bit of these, well, all the, the water which it um, takes off um, is let back into the tank, which then gets reheated and used again to steam, uh, to make steam again and process it to further get more energy. So you can see um, the temperature is rising and rising and rising. And at one point it's just too much because, well, some components here break at too high temperatures. And this, uh, therefore we have here a thermosensor which you can set, for example, to 170 degrees. And if it reaches that degree, then the doors open again. And, well, nothing is gonna break. It also avoids um, to waste energy because I guess 200 degrees is the highest uh, steam turbine can process. Anything above it is basically lost. So if we wanna have this set up at like 170 degree, and then we get all the energy which we can harness from the bottom down here. And um, this up setup also involves, uh, well, a maintenance tunnel, so that at one point, if you wanna, well, maintenance it or increase this um, connection to the bottom, then you are totally able to do that without uh, too much work. So let's see how we build it. I guess we can build um, our setup right next to our first power plant. So look for some cozy place, for example, over here. Then you can use insulated tiles. Doesn't really matter what, uh, what you see here because they don't get so much energy. Um, for the size, you wanna have maybe for at least two steam turbines which each uh, has a size of five. So we wanna have a size of 10. Um, let's build it like here, that should be good enough. So five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we have a hit of three in here. And then um, this is basically our tank, which we have. So then again, we can build our steam turbines already <clears throat> on top of it. Look that it um, that the power plug is on the outside, on each side, so that we can easily um, combine the pipes where we can use insulated liquid pipes, um, uh, no, radiant liquid pipes um, to transfer a bit of heat, which we generate with the um, generator by itself back to the steam to waste as little energy as possible. It also serves a bit as a cooling uh, cooling component. Then we lead this one back into the tank, like here in the middle, and that's it. For the connection uh, to the bottom of the, the magma pit, we have then uh, like four tiles here, somewhere where you want. For example, these four um, are getting exchanged by metal tiles. And here you have to use some material which has a property, uh, which has a melting point above 1000 degrees, just to be sure. And that could be, for example, um, copper. Copper is just fine for that part. So let's, let's use this one here. Four tiles is enough. Then uh, for the doors, we have a few options. Of course, we want to transfer as man much heat, uh, heat as possible uh, through these doors. Of course, the perfect one would then be steel because it has a really high thermal conductivity, which means it transfers heat really, really fast. 
Um, of course, steel is not so, uh, well, cheap. Um, so we have to maybe downgrade it a bit. Other options could be Wolframite, which is even with 15 good. Um, gold is not so good. Then we have aluminium ore, which is also quite uh, good with 20. And yeah, I guess we can use one of these. Um, you have also to take care that um, the first door is probably a bit more stronger. So if we use Wolframite, we are safe from the point of uh, thermal conductivity, but also from the melting point. But yeah, I guess aluminium ore or Wolframite, that's up to you. What have you, what do you have more that you can use? Um, I'll use here now aluminium ore. And then of course you have to build um, down there up to like um, the point, uh, yeah, that should be okay. Um, so that there is still a bit of um, place, uh, space between your doors and the magma left. The reason, of course, for that is that you have a bit of spare time to um, work your things out before the heat starts to come in. Um, to make this maintenance uh, working, uh, don't forget to insulate any tile which is uh, connecting to the, the doors. And we can build more doors uh, on this side. For that, you can just use, for example, iron, which is just fine here. Because we don't need a high conductivity, it just shouldn't melt. Two doors is enough. Then um, to make this maintenance work, we connect this one door with a, with, a, with a switch, for example. And then if you have some dupe, let's spawn one in. He should switch this. Ah, oh, wait, it's already perfect. Okay, thanks, Otto. Um, the door gets opened, which means no heat will transfer from these doors onto this door. So no heat can creep out, which is perfect. So if you have set up your um, maintenance tunnel and this part here, you're ready to connect these doors. Um, you're almost ready to connect these doors to the magma pit. What you still need is um, the thermo sensor, which you could put up like on this position or this position, and then make a wire to each of these doors. And then you want to make these open. So let's pick here 170 degree for the start and then make it below because at the moment we're at 20 degrees. So this is uh, basically true and the doors open and no heat will transfer now here from the bottom to the upper part here. This is due because in here is now a vacuum with no, with nothing, uh, nothing transferring any heat. So, um, there's still a bit more to build here. You can, to increase the heat transfer, a few of these temperature plates, use, for example, diamonds. Don't make it to the, to the wall because then the uh, heat also gets transferred to the insulated tile, which is bad. Um, but you can always um, connect it to these metal tiles. So it's getting a bit more heat exchange. And then you are ready to make the final connection to the magma. So at the bottom here, you use a metal tile, which is able to withstand 1,600 degree. On some maps, the magma is a bit colder, then you can stick to other materials, but you have to be careful. Um, what you can use on some maps is iron, because it has a melting point of 1,500, which is of course not enough in here. Um, here we have to use steel, which has Two point two thousand four hundred. So let's pick the metal tile and steel, and then you can just build here your metal tiles. The magma will not spread in because, uh, well, it has just normal amount and it hasn't isn't in overpressure mode. So you are quite fine in here. And that's the point already where you are basically done. 
Of course, you have to fill in here water, which you can do by whatever you want. You can build a pump or you can connect it to your water supply. That's totally up to you. So for the moment, uh, let's pick a bit of water. Okay, perfect. Maybe make it a bit hotter. Start it off and then, uh, yeah, use this amount of water. Don't fill it up to the, uh, to the top because the steam would otherwise overpressurize this whole uh, chamber. And now let's see what's happening if we activated uh, the doors. Then you can see the magma is getting cooler, the metal tiles are getting hotter, and then the heat gets transferred over these um, doors up all the way to these metal tiles, which then spreads it into our tank. And then the water in the tank gets hotter and hotter, and at one point the steam turbines will run and supply your base with, well, basically free and green energy. And this here is one of the steam uh, of the geothermal power plants in work on our one on my Rhyme world. Um, you can see I already took a lot of energy out of the system, so all the magma went into uh, in a cooler state and formed ingenious rock, which still transfers a lot of heat. And you can see that our heating chamber here is at 180 degree. My steam turbines working at like 80-90% um, efficiency and producing, if we stop the time, um, 1.4 kilowatts of energy, which is, which is quite huge because, well, we basically have nothing much more to do than to just build it and then utilize all those heat stored down here and make good use of it. I mean, you can see here, um, it's really a lot of heat. I also have a few um, water tanks, which by accident got connect connected to it. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, there's still a bit of magma left. Um, but basically, that's free energy, which we can use, and we don't have to do care much about it. It also lasts a lot of cycles, so we are good to go here. So, um, this was it. Uh, I hope you liked this tutorial, and of course, as always, leave a like, leave a comment about what you want to see mo uh, more. Then I will gladly do it, and yeah, that's enough. So, see you in the next one. Ciao!